Hello everyone, welcome to my first video on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. As you may know, the Rubik's Cube has six sides. Um, and on my cube, I have the colors uh, green, red, blue and orange. And then I have white and yellow. Or I'm going to show you how to solve the cube using the so-called beginner's method. Um, where you solve the cube layer by layer. Okay, so first you solve this part here and then you solve the middle and finally you solve this last layer. Let's begin by scrambling the cube. The next step will be to build a pattern that looks like a daisy. So a flower with um, a yellow center uh, and four edge pieces that are white. All right. So to make that, you look around and try to find the yellow center, which is opposite of the white. And here it is. It's pretty easy. So where are the white edges uh, on this cube? Um, here's one. Here's one. Here's a third. And here's the fourth. So let's put these around the yellow center. All right. Um, this one is really easy. You just move it like that. Um, this one is also easy. I want to put this up here. So I do that. Now I have two. Um, I have one here and I have one here. This one is pretty easy because if I just flip it over, it will end up here. All right. So look at this one here, rotate once, rotate twice. Now I have three, I'm only missing this one here. And the final one is over here. So to get this one up here, I move it first so that it's, it doesn't destroy what I already built, right? So. I'm going to I'm going to move the white edge piece over here so that I can move it like here around here and uh, still keep my three pieces. Uh, there it is. But you see that if I move it up here it will be in the right position but it will be incorrectly oriented. So to fix that I take it down one step and then I turn the top so that the one I'm replacing is over here. And now I can move the white edge pitch here. So now you see that I built a daisy. In the third step, we're going to make the white cross. So we're going to put the four edge pieces that we have on the daisy, we're going to move them to the other side of the cube so that we have a white cross, right? And that's this is actually really easy to do. Just make sure that um, the edge piece that you're moving down has the same color as the center piece here. So this one works. This one does not work because you see this is red and this is green here green red and here blue blue so this one works and this one works so when you have the pieces matching you flip this to the other side right so one two and now you see that it's matched here 
and importantly it matches here as well next one remember the blue it matches so we move this one down like this and now you see that I have matching pieces here and I have matching pieces here to get this one in the correct position I have to put it on top of the red centerpiece right so it needs to go over here like that now we have red red and now I can move this to the other side one two so now I have orange orange blue blue and red red the final piece here is green so I need to I need to put this above the green center which is over here right so just just move this like this right, green green and now I can move it to the bottom there we go so now we have the white cross and more importantly it's a correct white cross because I have matching edge and center pieces here here, here, and here. The next part will be to put the white corner pieces in their correct positions. And by doing that, we will have completed the first layer. All right. So there are only eight corner pieces in the whole of cube, right? We have these four, and we have these four. So the ones we're looking for have to be either up here or down here. And we see that one of them is here. One is up here. And two are here. All right? So when you want to put your white piece up here, uh, you have to make sure that they are down in the bottom layer, which this one is. So let's start with this one. Um, this one has the colors white, green, and orange. So it has to go up here because we have the white side, the orange side, and the green side. So let's start by putting it directly below where it's supposed to be. So white, green, orange, white, green, orange, right? When you have a corner piece directly below, you have um, three scenarios. In the first scenario, the white side is pointing left. It could also point right or it could point down. You want to have the white piece either pointing left or right. In this case, it's pointing left, so that's good. And when you have this scenario and you want to put it up here, you do this simple step here. Okay, so make sure that you have the white cross upwards, facing upwards. And you have this one pointing left. You turn. Turn the front like this, okay, move this one, the bottom layer, and then move it back up. You see how it went from down here up here? Yeah. Let's do this again, because now we see that we have another corner piece that is also pointing left. Uh, so this one has blue and red, which means that we have to move it over here because we have blue and red and white. Okay. Same scenario. We have a piece 
down here that we want to move up here and it's pointing left so again move the front like this move the bottom like this and move it back there we go you see we're almost done we have two pieces left and they are here we're in luck we have another piece that's pointing left and this one is uh, red and green so it needs to go here because we have red and green same thing move it like this the bottom and up one left unfortunately the one we want is up here not down there so we have to fix that and we do that pretty easily by taking this down now, now it's here move this out of the way and correct your white side so that we don't destroy anything okay so let's check again mm, now the white side is pointing down so that's good for the sake of this video once again uh, this has the colors blue and orange so it needs to go there obviously it's the only one left we have orange we have blue but this time the white side is pointing down so we have to fix that and we do that by doing the following make sure it's in the correct position okay like this you see it here now move this side here once so that the white is pointing over there yeah move it out of the way and fix it back up what we did now is that we turn this you see now it's not pointing down it's actually pointing right this time so when we align it to be under where it's supposed to be you see that it's pointing right instead of down now so this is the third scenario the white side is pointing to the right and we're gonna do pretty much what we did over here but a sort of like a mirror image okay so what we do here is also pretty easy let's see if you can see this okay so we want to put this one up here and we do this right side bottom and up and now we have finished our first layer you see and we know that it's correctly made because these match these two these two and these two 